Hello class! Today's story is about growing, learning, and changing. Think about what is something new that you have learned this year. Was it easy or hard for you to learn? In this story, Z feels like Z will always have a hard time doing something and will never learn how to do it. The kids help Z learn that you are always growing and changing in many ways and that by working and trying hard, you can learn new things. As you listen to the story, pay attention to how Z feels about trying to learn something new that is hard. One afternoon, Z, Kenny, and Kayla were playing at the treehouse. Z and Kenny were doodling and drawing, and when Kenny finished his picture, he made some strange marks on the paper. What are those? asked Z. That's my name, said Kenny, as he pointed to the letters. K E N N Y. I want to write my name on my paper too, said Z. How do you spell it? How do you spell Z? Well, said Kayla, you spell it Z. Z picked up a crayon and made a few scribbles on the paper. Like this? Did Z write a Z? No. The kids smiled kindly at Z. That's not quite a Z, said Kenny. Here, let me show you. Kenny drew the letter Z on a piece of paper. Z tried to be very careful and make one just the same, but it was really hard. The crayon was slippery and Z couldn't make the lines go in the right direction. Z got another piece of paper and tried to write the letter Z again, but it just looked like squiggles. Z tried again, but it looked like a bunch of crooked lines. Z got a new crayon and tried to write a Z very carefully, but the crayon broke in half. Z banged the crayon on the table. I am no good at writing letters, Z said. I will never learn how to write my name. Do you think Z will learn how to write their name? Z. Z felt like Z could never do anything differently or learn how to do something new. What would you tell Z to remember? Kenny patted Z on the back. Sometimes it can feel like things will always be the same or will always be hard, but people change all the time. And one way you can change is by learning how to do new things like writing your name. But I don't change, said Z. I'm always green. Do you think that's true, that Z never changes? That's true, Z. You're always green, agreed Kayla. But you have changed in a lot of other ways just since we met you. Remember how you used to be really shy when we came to the treehouse to play? Z nodded. Well, you're sure not shy around us anymore, Kenny laughed. I know another way you've changed, added Kayla. Remember how you didn't know how to play with any of the toys in the treehouse? I didn't know about toys, said Z, but you told me all about balls and trucks and dolls and jump ropes. So that's something new that I learned. Z looked at the scribbled paper again and then at the kids. But what if I'm just really bad at writing? Then how will I ever learn? The kids reminded Z how Z had learned to draw shapes Maybe you just need to keep trying with your letters or try it a different way, like using a pencil instead of a crayon. And I know just how you feel, Kenny told Z. It used to be so hard for me to remember how to spell my name, but I kept practicing and now I know it. That sounds like a lot of you. Z picked up a pencil. Okay, I guess I'll keep trying. Z spent the rest of the afternoon working really hard at writing the letter Z. Z made a lot of mistakes, but the scribbles started looking a lot more like Z's after a while. Finally, Z held up a paper and shouted proudly, look what I did. Does that look like a Z? Good job, Z. There on the paper was the letter Z. You did it, Z, cheered the kids. You learned how to write your name. Z nodded excitedly, and I can't wait for all the new things I'm going to learn and do tomorrow. Z says, whenever we're together, my friends help me discover how children on earth get along with each other. Z wants you to remember that you are always growing and learning and changing. And now on your paper, you can write the lesson from today. 
So first, when you get a paper, what do you do? You write your name. So I wrote Miss Kipe at the top. I drew a picture of Z. I tried to draw a picture of Z, thinking about learning how to write the letter Z. And here's the lesson from today. You are always learning, growing, and changing. So you can try to write this on your paper. Julie, can you see it in the screen? All right, thank you.